since 1992, we've known that other stars in the universe have their own planets like our sun does. Mostly we've detected these planets by indirect means, but now we've been able to take an actual photograph of an actual solar system with planets. Let's find out more, shall we? I make a new video each week exploring this strange and wonderful universe that we live in. If you enjoy these videos, then please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. The jauntily named TYC 8998760-1 is a star located about 320 light years away, so just a hop, skip and a jump in galactic terms. This star is surprisingly similar to our Sun, having the same mass as our Sun and 95% of its radius. It's quite a bit less bright though, having just 43% of the luminosity of our star. One of the most interesting aspects of this star is its age. It's just 17 million years old. This is a very young star just at the beginning of its stellar life. When this star formed, the dinosaurs on our planet had already been dead for nearly 50 million years. Apes had already evolved by the time this star had formed. In fact, the hominids, or great apes that we belong to, diverged from the group that would become modern day gibbons somewhere between 15 and 20 million years ago. That's how young this star is. Orbiting it, we've detected two planets. The first orbits at a whopping 162 astronomical units. In other words, 162 times further out than the Earth is from the Sun. That's about 24 billion kilometers away from the star. Just putting that into a bit of perspective with reference to our own solar system, this planet orbits about five times further out than Neptune does. That will put it well within the Kuiper belt in our own solar system. This planet is also a giant. It's 14 times the mass of Jupiter and three times its radius. This means that this planet may actually be a brown dwarf. Brown dwarfs actually start off emitting their own light but as they age, they lose the ability to shine. This planet, if it is a brown dwarf, will be very young and as a result may still be able to emit light. This means that this is an absolutely fascinating discovery. Even though we don't know if it is indeed a brown dwarf, or if it is, which class of brown dwarf it is, it may be able to tell us more about the formation and life of these usually elusive planetary giants. The second planet is even further out. TYC 8998760-1c orbits twice as far out as its neighbour at 320 astronomical units or about 11 times further out than Neptune in our solar system. This planet orbiting at a massive 48 billion kilometres out is about the same size as Jupiter but has six times its mass. This probably doesn't put this planet into brown dwarf territory, but it's still a massive planet. So how are we able to see not just the star, but also the planet directly? Well, this all comes down to their age. This entire star system is just at the very beginning of its life. The planets are so young that they haven't had time to cool down yet and are still so hot that they glow. In fact, if planet B is a brown dwarf, it will glow on glowing for quite some time to come. Modern ideas about planetary formation suggest that the most massive gas giant in our solar system, Jupiter, formed much closer in than it is today. It then started to wander around the solar system until it eventually came to orbit where it does. Maybe studying this new solar system can tell us even more about the formation and early history of massive planets like Jupiter. Although we are talking astronomical time here, so don't expect anything to happen in the next week. But hey, who knows? This is such an exciting discovery that we can actually see the whole planetary system. And here it is. This is the picture taken by the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope located in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. I think this is absolutely stunning that these are actual planets orbiting an actual star 3,000 trillion kilometers away. I've started following as closely as I can the activities of the VLT in the Atacama Desert and expect more from me on their findings. But for now, with this stunning news, thank you for watching. <laughs>